You're watching Sports Final. Well, tip top of the evening, everybody, and welcome to Sports Final, where the St. Louis Cardinals are your 2011 world champions. Congratulations to all our Cardinal fans out there, and I'm willing to bet none of them are watching us live right now. Probably very true. Internet that's what, only, that's like what straight the to video, Joe. It's all right, though. 11 wins in the 2011 postseason for world championship number 11. It's all right. A lot of happy Redbird fans out there. Still, though, a lot of great local action going on tonight. Let's get to it on tap tonight. Plenty of good stuff. The Holy Trinity volleyball team takes another step in its quest to get to Cedar Rapids. The QD soccer team, by the way, is now one step closer to a state title. Plus, we have unfinished district football business for Hannibal, Bowling Green, Louisiana, and Knox County. But we start on the Illinois side of things tonight. Quincy Notre Dame Raiders, Rochester's in the playoffs. Seems like old times. A little bit of rain early. Didn't stop the QD fans from taking off their shirts and celebrating. Would this be the year they finally break through against Derek Leonard and the Rockets? Great start opening drive. Capped off right here by this guy, Luke King Camper. 29 yard scamper for the touchdown. Raiders on the board. They're leading 7 0 before Rochester even saw the ball. And I'll say that to you again. It's a kickoff. It's a squib kick, and it is fielded by Quincy Notre Dame. Onside kick works to perfection. Bill Cannell's team about to go back to work again. Keep the ball away from Wes Lunt, the Oklahoma State signee, and that potent offense. And here comes Evan Roush, pretty good quarterback in his own right, especially running the rock as he takes this all the way down to the two-yard line. That would set up Luke Hinkamper again. Mr. Hinkamper in for the score from short yardage, doing what he does best, putting his nose to the grindstone and fighting for yards. Made it 14 to nothing. Break him up. The Raiders are finally going to win. Right up until the point, Wes Lunt gets to touch the football. Wes Lunt, hungry. Going to the air right here. Long touchdown pass on his team's first possession. That's a beautiful strike, made it 14 to seven. The Raiders turn the ball over on downs, and back comes Wes Lunt, this time to the All-State wide receiver, Zach Grant. This is, home, this is home run ball number 18 for him on the season. He ain't done yet, not by a long shot. Again, Wes Lunt, he's working like a surgeon tonight, hooking up with the same aforementioned Zach Grant. He seemed to be on his way to touchdown number 19, stumbles at the two yard line. What are you gonna do? You're gonna give the ball to the kid yet again. This time jet sweep style, and all of a sudden it's 21 unanswered points. All of these drives, Joe, taking about a minute 30 for Rochester to complete. That's how good the offense is. Hey, did I mention that Zach Grant's pretty good? West Lunt too, look at this catch. Oh my goodness, falling over backwards. That's why the kid's all stater. 28 unanswered points. It's 28-14. Raiders trying to come back in this ball game right here. Luke Hinkamper, nice run to get the ball down deep into the red zone. He would score from short distance, but the Raiders had no answer tonight for Lunt. He had 277 yards and four touchdown passes in the first half alone. Rochester for the third straight season ends Quincy Notre Dame's run. 56-35 to What's your final. Joseph. Illini West, the defending state champions in the playoffs by the skin of their teeth at the 2A level. Taking a visit to a very tough Deer Creek Mackinac team. But how about this? On their first possession of the game, this is Caden Guyman shedding everyone in his path. He finds the back of the end zone, and Illini West goes up early. Not too bad. Things looking pretty good for Tim Lafferty's Chargers early on the second quarter as well. Jack Bostert gets in on the front on the ground and shakes everyone all by his lonesome. For a long time here, he ends up getting caught up and tripped up. However, it would be all right because that sets up a Cole Carson touchdown run that is able to cap off this drive. Not a lot of defense being played in this game whatsoever, but unfortunately very back and forth. Deer Creek Mackinac very much in this one for a long time, and Illini West season eventually can't comes to a close as they can't roll with Deer Creek. They fall by a final score of 42 to 28 and Alina West bows out at 5-5. Five five. Chris. Let's go to Missouri. Hannibal in action tonight trying to win a district championship at the Moberly Spartans in Spence. Jason Ambrosen's team trying to make some things happen. Fumble, there's Connor Brown. He is good. The big defensive end rumbling in for the scoop and score touchdown at that point, 7-0. Hannibal recovered fumbles on each of Moberly's first three possessions. This time, it's Elijah Harrison falling on one there. That led to a three-yard touchdown run by Logan Hicks. Had a big night again tonight. 160 yards of total offense for Mr. Hicks. In for the score there. Made it 14 to nothing. Early second quarter. Mr. Ambrosa not happy. Right here, it's Caleb Beanick for the field goal. 28 yards, made it 17 to nothing. All about Hannibal tonight. Hannibal wins going away in this ballgame, 38 to 13. Hannibal will host Grain Valley coming up on Wednesday. Grain Valley's coach, the former Bowling Green skipper, Jimmy Tucker. Joseph, what else we got? Louisiana win, and you're in for the Bulldogs. They're looking for their first playoff appearance since the 90s. Van Farr stands in their way, but Actually, nobody stands in the way of Greg Pitzer. Great day for him. Check out this as he keeps this one, picks up huge yardage, takes this one down inside the 10 for the Bulldogs. 
Bulldogs already up eight to nothing at this point, and Mr. Pitzer is able to finish what he starts. They actually get backed up to about their 16 yard line due to penalties, but check this out as he stretches into the end zone for six right here. That's not too bad at all for Louisiana as they go up there. The two point try also successful as Austin Rule able to rush in 16 to nothing Louisiana still in the first quarter. Bulldogs threatening again, but that's when Van Farr's Brian Fugit comes up with a huge wrap and sack, giving the ball back over to Van Farr. Indians take over. They got some athletes on this team. Great run right here by Ethan Gooch and the uh, Tim Tebow sort of play right here as he just kind of keeps us in the front of the Wildcat, goes every which way, avoids tackles, big pickups, not enough in the end though. Louisiana is victorious tonight, 36 to 8 your final, and they are playoff bound. Congrats to Coach Geschwender and company. Knox County and Schuyler County win and you're in tonight. Knox County, they were going to win and they were going to ride the outstanding play tonight of a huge play of Lake McCabe. He was everywhere tonight. This is interception number one. 05. That, my friends, is an impressive night at the office. Also had 14 tackles. That would set up Donovan Edwards, your quarterback, hooking up right here by with Jared Barnard, who goes in for the score. Beautiful catch, beautiful throw. Oh my goodness, Knox County just working it tonight. How about some defense? John Harder, we talked about him all season. Great player, outstanding student athlete. This, my friends, big hit by that young man. He can bring it. This led to Brody Mowbray, going right up the middle for a touchdown. All Knox County, all the time. The, the ball comes loose. Coach Vandell's team just rolling it tonight. They will advance on to the playoffs. Unfortunately, they got to go to Shelbina, but Knox County played well tonight. They get the big win tonight. Final count in this one, 34 to 13 was your final on the scoreboard. One other score to pass along tonight. Congratulations to Bowling Green, a big time winner over Orchard Farm. Actually, this is a score in progress. 21 to nothing with the last we had. Bowling Green's going to win that district, though, unless something dramatic happens. Soccer tonight at the state level. State semifinals, corner kick. The master he tactician, Greg Reese, calls for two guys in the Greg corner. Reese's it's going to work out really well as Connor Reese, uh, actually, excuse me, that would be so Taylor Reese, eventually pass. finds Parker Reese. He's going to let fly three minutes in, and my goodness, Quincy Notre Dame has a lead on F.W. Parker. The game would stay one nothing in favor of the Raiders all the way throughout the first half and deep into the second half. That is when Parker Reese would strike again. Remember, he would beat F.W. Parker earlier in the regular season. They're going to beat him like a drum again tonight. Look at Mr. Parker with a volley. And ladies and gentlemen, Quincy Notre Dame is moving on to the state championship game, which will be played tomorrow at 7 o'clock. We will be there. Q&D wins 2 nothing. They will take on Powerhouse Lyle coming up tomorrow. Joe, you got some volleyball for me? We do. Lyle win by a, by a score of 1-0 over Warrensburg Latham. Again, tune in tomorrow night for your highlights and a complete wrap-up on Sunday. Day. Holy Trinity is two wins away from the state tournament as we talk a little bit of volleyball right here and they would take on New London and look at the kids getting ready for Halloween. Halloween. Oh, unbelievable. The Holy Trinity faithful there. Bit of a give and go here between Michaela Fecky and Ashley Tingley and this ends up with Fecky picking up the kill. She's just a freshman folks. Unbelievable. Tingley great back set right here over the net. That one falls through as well. Holy She's Trinity. an assist machine Joe. Jumps out to a huge lead right. Fecky once more hits the net but still falls through. No stopping the sensational freshman, Michaela Fecky. That's not all, though. Emily Lewis gets big for this kill. Good defensive mindset as well. Fecky and Lewis this time team up for the block. HDC rolls 25-16, 25-13, 25-11.